Okay, um, I'm just gonna do a really quick impromptu video for you. Um, this is my strip cutter. Um, I think Glassstar makes it, I'm not sure. I know there's other ones and I think there's better ones like the Morton system and all that, but it's got a bunch of little blades like your cut glass cutter does right here. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you oil that. And I made this jig, um, showed you the picture up above. So what I would do, I don't have a piece of glass in front of me, let's see. Um, so I would put, you know, my piece on here. So now this is square to the edge and then using this, you set your, whatever you're going to do, your, you know, your quarter inch, your inch, whatever. And then I don't have a lot of room right here, but this guide goes along this wood so you can kind of see it here. And so when you slide and then you apply the pressure, just like your normal cutter, which I'm not going to do, there's where you get your strip and then you, you, um, snap it um, and it gives you consistent pieces at what you want then also this guide um, comes off and then you can take the other piece which is the circle cutter which is not what you were looking for but this goes on here and the same thing to whatever radius you want you would set this um, to and again there's blades on it actually I'm sorry I take it back there's a blade the same blade uh, here but you would put it down and then you would hold it and you can turn this, if you can see it. Anyways, you would make that radius of your circle. So it's like a two-in-one tool that I use. So hopefully that explains what my jig is. It's just a piece of wood with that, mine looks like a one and a half by one um, piece that I squared off on the bottom. Um, you really don't need one this big. I just find it easier because room is um, difficult to find where I am so I can make sure that the whole piece is on here without falling off. So if you have any other questions, let me know. I hope this little video helps you.